Rands. Now it's time for Mental Wellness Wednesday, and we have a great topic for you today with Dr. Tracy Alloway, who always has the latest and the greatest for us. So, Dr. Tracy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Jana. So we're headed into the holidays, and we know that we're going to be talking to a lot of family members. Maybe our social battery's running a little bit low, but we want to make sure that we're engaged. So how can we stay engaged and maybe be that safe space when people start to disagree over the holidays? Such an important question, especially this time of year, but really any time of the year. There's something that psychologists call active listening, mm -hmm. which as the name suggests, we really want to engage and be part of that conversation rather than just kind of hearing on right. a subconscious level. And I think that's so important, especially you know, when we're, we're all so excited, and I think we all have a little bit of ADD or ADHD, <laughs> and we're just excited sometimes sure. to chat, but you can kind of overrun the person. So what are, you have three, is it three R's that you yes. can make sure that you're maintaining that conversation in a really great, healthy way? That's right. So there are three R's that are talked about to help you be an active listener. The first is to repeat. And so when someone is sharing something, the way that you can stay engaged is to repeat, oh, did you just say you went to X? And a, and a kind of pro tip here is to talk with your palms facing up because research, yeah, well, not, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> pulling a Talladega Nights, what are doing with my hands? Right. Okay. Uh, but research shows that the open hands or the palms up mm -hmm. communicates trustworthiness and it shows the listener that you are engaged. So the first R is to repeat mm -hmm. and as you're repeating what they say, keep your hands open. Okay. And maybe the contrary thing to that is not to cross your arms, right? And we've talked about that before is sometimes you're just cold. So maybe go get a jacket because this can be the opposite and actually give a closed off effect, right? It can. And again, there's lots of research on body language. Exactly as you said, it's a very defensive position. Yeah, exactly. So the second one is, is reflect. So like break yes. that one down for me. Yes. So reflect is another way for you to actually process what they're saying for you to stop and consider you know what are they saying here how can I engage in that and that's really you know an important step to consider how can you map what you want to share with them and, and connect that two pieces of information. Great. And what's that third R for us? Um, the third is to respond. And one of the most powerful ways to respond to what they're saying is with touch. We know from research that when we reach out, when we squeeze a hand, mm -hmm. squeeze a shoulder or a hug, just a few seconds can actually increase a bonding hormone called oxytocin and decrease our stress hormone. So if you're finding a little overwhelmed during the holiday season, a simple hand squeeze is a great way to show that you're listening, you're an active listener, and you're engaging by, by by, by responding and by squeezing their hand. Now, I'm gonna go off book here just a little bit. If, you, <laughs> if you're like me, I don't know if you ever feel this, but sometimes, I, again, I get that excitement and I find myself so excited about how I wanna make sure that I'm responding mm -hmm. so it, they know that I'm engaged. I literally almost do the opposite and space out. Like, how do you slow your mind down to make sure that you stay engaged? Yeah, and it's a great question. You can ask um, questions that are what or how questions, mm -hmm. not why questions. Again, research shows that these are perceived as being attacking or and the person can become oh, defensive. Okay. So one way to stay engaged is to have a, a queued up question that's what, what did you like? Mm -hmm. How did you enjoy that most? Or how did you find that? So even generic questions, but having a script ahead of time can okay. be helpful, especially if you're the kind of person that may feel overwhelmed in social gatherings. Yeah. And I think that's so great because, uh, you know, this is really the year that we're all getting back to it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it can be overwhelming, especially if you're like my family and your gathering starts at 50. <laughs> I, I didn't know people only had four and five people at Christmas because ours started at the Macy's Day Parade. Right. <laughs> so, so Tracy, where can we stay connected with you and get even more tips and tricks? I have a website, tracyalloway.com. I'm on social media, Dr. Tracy Alloway, and I'd love to connect. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us for another great Mental Wellness Wednesday.